Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing these watermelon stamp nails. It's that time of year where everything is saturated with watermelons and citrus fruit and all kinds of stuff that are supposed to show you summer. So I have this Summer Bounty Plate by Bundle Monster that has watermelons on it, some with little bite marks in it, which I think is super cute because, you know, obviously that's what you're going to do with a watermelon, you're going to eat it. Except for me. I don't like watermelons, I like watermelon candy. Go figure. So I'm taking Mirror Mirror from the Bundle Monster Grimm's Nightfall collection. It's a black that has sort of a nice shimmer to it, and that's what I'm using to do the outside stamping. Now I'm taking Wild Watermelon from the Crayola Schools Out collection, and I'm going to fill in the pink watermelon color part on the stamper with a thin detail brush. I recommend if you do this with the Insta Dry Nail Polish that you work with small dabs on a nail art mat or a plastic bag, smaller than what I did, because it's called Insta Dry. It dries really fast. Next, I'm taking Inchworm and I'm using it to do the thin, sort of light colored part of the watermelon. There are a couple of these little designs that have two stripe parts. So for the two, the ones that do have two stripe parts, I'm doing the thin inchworm watermelon. So I'm just going around and looking. I think there's like four of them that have that little section. By the way, if you hear my little fan going, it's because it is hot. I live in Florida. I am burning to death. Next, I'm taking Granny Smith Apple from the first Crayola Instadry collection. And I am taking that and painting the darker part of the watermelon. Now I'm going to put that aside and let it dry, and I'm taking Queen Please from the Happily Never After collection of China Glaze, and I'm going to put on two coats of that on all of my nails. This would be more of like a topper, a nail polish topper to kind of, you know, give a different color a nice pop. I'm using it sort of as like a cheat to negative space nails. I don't do negative space nails a lot, mostly because I have so much nail polish. Why on earth am I going to not paint my nails? I don't understand. Like, I, there's too much nail polish in my room for me to pretend that I have, you know, I can just make negative space nails. Next, I'm taking this Bundle Monster plate, and I'm taking the Wild Watermelon, and I'm going to use this stamp on the whole nail. And I'm going to alternate them so that it's the Granny Smith Apple, um... Yeah, Granny Smith Apple, water, Watermelon, then Granny Smith Apple again, and then Wild Watermelon. I love this little double zigzag design. It seems very fun and summery to me, especially when you use a bright neon color with it. I actually did sort of a test of which color I wanted to use over the Queen Please, and when I used Inchworm, which is the one I wanted to use, it actually kind of just washed out into it, so I decided not to use that one, and that's how I came up with going with Wild Watermelon and Granny Applesmith instead. Next I'm taking my Luna Lacquer Top Coat. It's a thin top coat that's also quick dry, and I'm using this because once I get the stamp on, I want to make sure that it is sealed before I do my next step. Now, I'm taking these thin tweezers, but if you don't have thin tweezers like that, you can use regular tweezers. Or you can use a little spatula if that's what you have. Or you can use a pin if you don't have anything else. And basically, I'm just taking these tweezers and I'm picking up each individual little watermelon as if they were their own decals. Now the reason I did the top coat first was because when I go to put the little watermelon on, if it falls in a place I don't want it, it's actually easily repositionable and without damaging the stamp underneath because of the top coat. I 
And what's really cool about this is that one of the watermelon stamps is all you need to do. You don't have to do a bunch of them. Just do the one because then you have enough for all of your nails. You almost have enough to do both hands if you were more frugal with the watermelons than I was. I had to do two stamps, one for each hand. Finally, top it off with a top coat. Here's the final result. It looks so fresh to me, like, oh, I just want to get an ice cold watermelon juice or watermelon candy and just sit out in the sun for like five seconds before I realize I hate it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.